Hello and welcome to solve for the answer to my um, 501 problem. Um, before I start this, I have to say that people who know Japan might think that they look like 500 yen. And they actually do. I've been told that then, um, in the, or any vending machine in Japan don't accept 500 yen. And I've been told that the, the reason is that uh, people were going to Korea and br bring back those 501 and they would work instead of 500 yen in the vending machines which is a problem because this cost uh, roughly 10 times less than 500 yen so I don't know if this story is true but um, I find it amusing so I wanted to share it with you let's, ba let's go back to our problem the problem um, is to turn a 501 without sliding and wonder when you can read 500 back not like this obviously I'll get closer not like this not like that and of course like this so how where when you turn around you get back to this um, some people people might think it's when you make a complete and complete and full circle uh, it's not um, it's not wrong but it's not the first time it goes back in the straight position and I'm going to, sh going to show you why. This is the, the bottom 501 and this is the top one. The bottom I didn't write anything, it's not going to move because well, it's just, it's just there to turn around and um, what's important is that this line, I drew it the same length as that line, actually that line has been drawn the same length as this one for the, the explanation. So when you roll this 501, here it's upside down, and of course when you arrive at the end of this line, it's back up. But, but this is not a straight line, you turn around. So we're going to take this line and curve it like this. And when you curve it like this, you imagine, and you can see that this this coin now is like this, and this coin is, of course, like that. And if we, if we continue to curve this line like this, this coin is now still like this, and this coin is now upside down but we're not done we have to continue so we continue to curve this line and we see that this coin is now here and this uh, this one is now like this mm, excuse me yeah, right. And finally, when you complete the full turn around, we realize that this kind of coin at this position is straight up. And this one, of course, is back straight up. And uh, this is the solution. When you do half of a turn, your coin is straight up. You can try. Here you're going to be actually upside down. And here too, you're going to be upside down. Try it slowly without sliding. And you're going to see that this, those are the positions that you're going to take around the other one. I hope you enjoyed this problem. And uh, see you next time for the next problem. Bye-bye.